Right, so I finally finished the double lander box trap or the run through rat trap which I was making the other night. Now, in all honesty, um, I just made it looking from the pictures in the book. And I couldn't do it exactly the same as the um, one in the book, but I did it as close as I could get. So I'm going to find you picture of it now um, in the book he does actually have pretty much detailed instructions on how to build it and the right sizes but the size of his is absolutely massive um, it's pretty much almost four foot long and two foot high which is massive you know this is not even half that but here's one is a combined rabbit and vermin trap so if you can see that that's the picture what I mainly wanted to do was get the trigger mechanism the same and you know most of it the same whereas you can see on that one these top bits are slightly different but I managed to get the trigger inside pretty much the same uh, well, like I said at the back he's got instructions on how to build it including um, sizes and dimensions but anyway I made mine a lot smaller I looked at it and after I'd made it I thought it might be too small but I think it will just about work. So, uh, see I'm going to show you the inside. The inside there, I had, you had seen this on the other one, is a treadle plate with nails sticking out the side. That's the main thing I wanted to do. <coughs> and... So I'll finish this off now, so I'll show you how to set it. Funny thing is it didn't end up completely central, so I've had to do one arm long and one arm short. And my arms and the doors on the actual picture in the book, these two are right down there, but on my one you don't get them right down there so that holds them two up and then this piece slots underneath here and I cut a little notch in it this is to make it um kind of give it a bit more friction because it wasn't it wasn't connected before It was just um, slipping out because the treadle plate was too heavy, if you know what I mean. And it wants to do it now. Right. Now that's set. <coughs> so, the piece of wood it's wedged between this piece of wood and the nail so when the treadle plate is pushed down the nail goes down the wood can flip out up goes this arm and releases the two doors <clears throat> and it's a run through so anything can just pass right through unless it touches the treadle plate and then both the doors come down Right, so you can see from that angle how the rat should be able to see all the way through. Now these doors aren't massive. When I was doing it, it seemed like the doors were going to be bigger. But I think a rat could get through that. It's probably about a two inch square hole each side. So 
I reckon a rat could get in there. That's probably about it. Now what I could do is I could probably cut a little bit more off the door and it would still work or raise that string up a bit and if I'd used thinner pieces here that would have widened it up a bit more as well but you know it's right for a you know a quick well I say a quick made one it didn't take it wasn't that quick but kind of like a rough made one um I could definitely make it bigger which is probably what I ought to do I'm going to give this one a go though later so um, you could put bait we don't have to and just hope the animal runs through and when it stands on that um, treadle plate both of the doors come down and it seems to be working pretty good and both doors seem to be going off pretty good there is other designs of double door traps you can make funny enough mad dog survival he did a decent one really simple one so i might do one like that but the only thing is what i wanted to do i just definitely wanted whatever i did to have a treadle plate inside but i reckon his one what he did could be rigged up to have a treadle plate definitely The funny thing is, is I thought oh, I'll make the um, treadle plate on this one. It's made out of a bit of chopping board. But it seems like it might be a bit too heavy. I didn't want to use wood because I'm leaving the top open. And I thought if water gets in there it might warp it. And then it might not work properly. I don't want to stay in there now. reason I left the top open like mesh is because if you catch a rat in this you should be able to use an air gun or an air pistol to shoot it through the top of the cage whereas when these are all filled in there's nothing you can do because you can't legally do things like drown them anymore you used to do it in the old days but you can't do that now <coughs> that's against the law so the only way you dispatch this is either shoot it or try and let it out into another bag, club it or something like that. So left the top open for that very reason. Right, so I'm going to set this out. Um, put some bait, probably bait through it. See what happens.